In this video, we'll see how to create a box plot using the TI-84 graphing calculator. So we have a data set over here in our spreadsheet, and we need to first input that data into the calculator. Unless you have the TI Connect software, this is going to be manually entering the numbers in one by one. To do this, press the Stat button, and then hit Enter to edit. Clear any existing data sets. And let's just put all the numbers in one column. Here we'll use L1. Enter each number and press Enter. All right, once the data is stored in there, then we hit second and y equals. This will go to the stat plot menu. And we'll go into one of these stat plots by hitting enter. And I'm going to tell it where the data is. Uh, first, turn it on. So I'm going to turn it on and off there. It's already on here. Uh, and then for type, we want to select the box plot thing. Now there's two of them. Uh, this one right here on the right is box plot with no outlier showing. And that's where the whiskers will extend to the max and min. And uh, the one on the left is the one where the whiskers will go to the greatest and lowest data numbers in the set that are still within the upper and lower fence. And it'll actually show outliers. I prefer the, sec uh, the one on the left, but uh, you know either one's acceptable. You do have to find the outliers, and this may be helpful for that. So we're going to choose that one. And uh, the, the list will be L1. If you have a grouped frequency distribution already, you can use L2, but I don't think that's important for this. Uh, now, we're going to hit graph, and we may not see it right away, and that's because... Sure, this one is off, huh? I think frequency needs to be actually just one or something. You can't you can't have L two. So, if if you have the group frequency distribution, then you put uh, your your midpoints for in L one and your frequencies in L two, but. We just have the raw data set, so I think we want to leave that as 1, actually. Alright, so now we should be set. Say graph. There we go. Alright, now it might be graphing other algebraic functions here, so go to the regular y equals and then clear out any existing graphs there. You know, these things can kind of mix up. We don't want any, any lines to be graphed. Alright, and we're still a lot of times going to be left with a blank screen, and that's because the window isn't automatically formatted. Now there might be a special zoom for this. Like zoom stat might work. Yeah, zoom stat works. Um, but occasionally uh, you have to set the window. And you can do that. You can go to window and uh, and then you set your x values based on these numbers, right? These numbers are x, so start x anywhere before 3 and end after 24. And you see that those numbers are pretty good here. Um, the Y scale is a little harder to gauge. I'd usually just go kind of 0 to 100 or something like that. Um, but try zoom stat, that should work. Okay, uh, now we didn't see didn't see any outliers and that's because our data set was pretty pretty consistent. Um, just to show you what that looks like, let me go ahead and put in an outlier. Alright, so our biggest number was 24, wasn't it? Let's go ahead and put in. All right, I went too far there. Uh, let's go ahead and put in 50. And then 100, just in case 50 wasn't big enough. All right, uh, now let's go back to the graph. And maybe zoom stat again. 
Ah, and so you see that it identifies those outliers as separate points. Whereas if you want to do the other version, you can. You, know, you can have it include those. And then it's going to go all the way there. So I like the outliers being separated. Alright, so then you need to get a picture from this. A lot of students are using their phones to take pictures. If you have um, some kind of software, then it might be easier to do something else. But uh, just go ahead and take a snapshot of that. And uh, I'm use the snipping tool here. And, and then you can go and paste this right into your assignment. And uh, put in your five number summary and everything else that's required. Okay, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, let me know if it wasn't.